Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a shortcut to find better keywords for your blogs, all right, for your niche blogs. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because this is a really a tremendous hack, okay? And so what it comes down to is, let's face it, we're all in a certain niche, right? We're, we all have these sub-niches we write content on, and sometimes we're looking for that edge. We're looking for something that could help us just a little bit more. But sometimes, let's be honest, we all get those times where we can't think of new concepts, new things to create content on, uh, whether it be for our written blogs, whether it be for YouTube, or whatever kind of blogging type aspect you're going with your business. It could be both YouTube and blogging. It could be one or the other. doesn't matter. The point here is is the questions feature within Mangles. Okay, Mangles is a keyword research tool. You probably already know about it. Okay, uh, we have a whole series kind of course, free course on this. Uh, but the point here is within the keyword finder tool, you have a questions feature. Most people don't even pay attention to this. In fact, most people I know don't even know that this exists. And basically all it is is when you type in a query of a keyword and you hit questions, it will show you all the related questions related to that specific keyword. Now, why is this important, you might ask? Well, it's simple. Imagine you're doing SEO and you've been working on your blog for a year, two years, sometimes things could get monotonous. You might need to think of a new topic. It's just not coming to you. Uh, we've all had experiences where we feel like we can't think of new creative ideas for our niche, for our business, and you could do that here, all right? Now, remember what we said, some of the golden rules within our kind of whole philosophy when it comes down to creating a niche site. When you create a niche site, you're serving a smaller audience. That is true. It's less competitive, but it serves a greater need within that individual. And I always give this example about the hats. If somebody on Google searches for a hat, that might have a million searches a month or 1.2 or 2 million searches a month. But if somebody searches for a red velvet suede material hat with snapback style, now all of a sudden it's much, much more specific. And there's going to be much less search demand. It could be 2,000 searches a month. But those searchers are much more informed on the product, and they know what they want, and more importantly, they have a higher likelihood to buy, right? And these are incentivized viewers, incentivized readers, incentivized customers, because they're looking for that specific thing, right? It's the same thing if somebody walks into a store and says, you know, I don't know what I'm going to buy, I'm just here to look around, versus somebody says, I know exactly what I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy XYZ right? So the same concept. And when you find these topics, you create content around them, you figure out ways to monetize, which shout out to the Cash Cow Niche Sites website. We have our monetization guide on there. Shout out to everybody who grabbed that up. But um, we show essentially how to monetize these things. And with keywords that are more specific, that are related to your niche, finding keywords like that is a is a total hack. And some people might have to go out there and hire SEO experts, keyword researchers, uh, they, you know, they just can't think of some stuff. So this is actually a, a shortcut or a hack of a tool that can do that for you. So here is a perfect example on my computer here. You could see on the top left hand side, it says how to do SEO. This is the keyword that I typed in within the keyword finder tool within Mangles. And then to the right, you could see here there's a questions button. And like I said, a lot of people don't even know that this function actually exists, but it does. And so when you click on this tool or this button, it will find you keywords that are question format related to exactly the concept of what you're searching, the query. And so the query here is how to do SEO. That in itself is a question, and it is relatively specific. It's you're trying to figure out how to do SEO. But if you could see here, it says how much do SEOs earn? How much do SEO cost? How much do SEO consultants charge? How much do SEO companies charge? How much do SEO agencies charge? How do SEO jobs pay? How many keywords do you need for SEO? How to do SEO optimization yourself? Can you do your own SEO optimization? How many hours does SEO take? What does SEO do for your website? See how to do SEO yourself. All these different keywords that arise, and you know, you could look through all of them, um, and there's many, depending on the situation for the keyword that you have, 
are all relatively intricate. And you could actually see that by the search demand here. You have 70, 50, 20, 30, 40, 20. A lot of the bigger brands are not going to compete on keywords like this, whether it's through blog or YouTube or whatever the case may be. They're not going to serve a very niche demand like this, but you can do that because that's how we're going to succeed. We serve, we serve the need for smaller needs, essentially for smaller searches, but much more intent on those searches. And what happens over time is that we get a drip feed of viewers, right? We get that influx slowly over time. And once we get that influx over time of viewers and we keep building, 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 right? Our businesses creating that content on our blogs, on our sites, it's not anymore a drip feed. It's a, a flow of traffic that is dependable and it's practical. And not only that, but it provides income if you know how to monetize it properly or if you've learned how rather. And with that being said, this is one of the most useful tools when it comes down to Mangles because it can provide you these keywords that you may have not thought of. Now, let's also talk about competitors that can also do this. Uh, there's a company called SEM Rush, and I could actually show you SEM Rush. I am I am actually an affiliate of SEM Rush. Um, I'm not gonna share it with you guys here, you know, the affiliate link, because it's in my opinion a little bit overpriced for beginners, and this is a channel for beginners. If you pay yearly, meaning you pay in one shop, it costs $99 a month at the very minimum, so the cheapest, okay? If you don't pay yearly and you pay monthly, um, you're paying $119 a month. Mangles is significantly cheaper, all right? Um, I think four or five times less than this uh, to start, and I'll leave the link in the description on this blog, wherever you're seeing this. But the point here is, is that Mangles, uh, SEM Rush has this. They have a feature called the Magic Keyword Tool. And it is magical. It provides exactly what you're seeing here. And to a writer, to a blogger who has is just stuck, and they're not sure what content to create in their niche, just plug in some of your keywords here and see what other keywords come up. And there's no shame in doing that. You know, I use machine power, AI, automation, software, all the time to make my businesses better. So you could do it too. And uh, hopefully, more importantly, this video inspires you and helps you out to create new keywords over time and find those better keywords. And uh, that's all I got to say for this video. So this is exactly how to do those questions or how to use the questions feature within Mangles. And more importantly, how to get that shortcut as an SEO. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you soon. Peace out. Bye.